So yeah, just good option coverage from Pooh there. Okay, we're going back to Dreamland. Um, oh, I bet Pooh banned it. I think Disney would ordinarily like to go to FD in this matchup. Yeah. Ooh, that's stuck. Alright. Alright, so Disney has a bit of a lead. Nothing to write home about just yet. If he manages to take one more, okay. Yeah. See, that's the thing about this matchup is as soon as one player gets the momentum, it's, it's, it's just gonna be it. <laughs> it's just gonna be a stack. Because both of these characters are just ridiculously fast. It's ridiculously uh, good at comboing one another. That really just even a single opening from either either can mean a stock. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Good way to dash back. Up smash from Disney. Ooh, okay. Probably wanted to... Well, I don't know what he wanted there. Yeah. No, uh... The space these forward airs are often underutilized moves, because, uh... People just don't really know how to use them. Um, like... One, it's, it's actually a pretty good hitbox. It's their farthest forward-reaching aerial hitbox, so it can be good, like, from the ledge. Uh, good for, sometimes good for approaches, and uh, just good for spacing in general. Um, but yeah, whenever you can get one of those, uh, when they're a low enough percent, you can get the spacing where they get multiple hits. That's, that's really good, especially from Falco, because uh, I believe his does a bit more damage than Fox's. Pretty sure, anyway. I also think Falco's uh, combos 
better uh, with itself, because I think Fox's forward air does more knockback on each hit, whereas Falco's keeps you close. Okay. Probably could have just grabbed ledge, but Disney wanted to just really take care of that stock. <laughs> which, not a bad idea. As long as you're, as long as you feel pretty consistent with that, which it's not hard. So, all right. <clears throat> so Disney just needs to play smart. Um, there's really no reason to be that aggressive in this scenario. Uh, I mean, unless Pook starts uh, laser camping, which I don't think Pook's gonna do that. <laughs> but, ooh, okay. Yeah, that was very risky forward smash. Uh, Disney didn't get too much off of it though. <clears throat> yeah, um, it's really just gonna take one good back air from Disney to close this out probably. Um, whereas Falco's gonna have kind of a tough time. Fox at this point. Uh, Falco does. Okay, Falco can sort of struggle, not as much as like Marth does at uh, at those higher percents. All right, and Disney takes game two. So we are going into game three of the losers finals or losers semis. Sorry. Um, then winner of this game plays me in losers finals. Then uh, winner of that uh, or so me is uh, <laughs> is going to play Goku in grand final. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Fox Sheik. So. Yeah, like, uh. And he played well game one, but I, he definitely had some cheese in there, which. Which, um. You can't really count on that in this, this uh. High risk of a scenario. Um, so yeah, probably good to stick to his guns. Um. I'm sure he's not fond of this matchup. It's definitely not fun for Sheik. Uh, but he's certainly got experience with it, and that's that's important. Um, so yeah. He just doesn't care. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, why this matchup isn't great for Sheik. Uh, fuck, like, uh, Sheik is just very, very wave shinable. Um, she's a pretty high traction character. Um, which means Fox can really just, once he lands a shine on the ground, he can really just sort of go to town. Uh, wave shine grab, wave shine up smash, wave shine into more wave shines. Um, and then off of one grab, uh, he can get so much on Sheik just off of one up throw. Um, especially with these platforms where you can tech chase. Um, really, the main. Uh, the main balancing factor I'd say for Sheik is that Sheik has really good edge guards on Fox. Um, so Hoog is really going to have to be pretty pretty spot on with those. Um, it's one of those like, yeah, at the top level you can't really drop a single one, kinda. Um, which of course we're not quite at the top level. But <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Fox also pretty good at edge guarding Sheik. Uh, I'd say Sheik probably has the better edge guards in this matchup, but um, yeah, as as Sheik players are all too aware, uh, the landing lag on that up B is very painfully long, and um, very often all one has to do to edge guard a Sheik is just grab ledge. Uh, whoa! Okay, slow down, Disney. Uh, so yeah, very good use of, of weak hits and jabs to extend those combos. Um, and I think he, I think he ended it at the right time with that up. Oh, all right, dang momentum. <laughs> okay, so Disney's got himself a comfortable lead. Um, again, though, I would, I would say Sheik might be one of the best at camping Fox. Um, not so good as like Marth, but uh, but yeah, if if all it takes is one back throw off stage and a solid edge guard to turn this around, so. Okay. Alright, so now Disney's primary focus is probably going to be just to not get grabbed. Um, 
Ooh, and that's gonna be it. All right, and we've got Disney going into grand finals against Flux, and Poog finishes, what did I say? Oh, losers finals, I apologize. And uh, Poog finishes fourth.